breaking the wall of bioengineering the heart. Abra Alam, Falling Walls Lab, Edmonton. Now, as you're all sitting down listening to me talk, imagine you start getting dizzy, short of breath, with a funny feeling in your chest that just won't go away. Everything's out of focus. And worst of all, you missed my presentation. <laughs> This is a reality faced by many around the world who require surgery to replace their heart valves. About a quarter million, to be exact. And if that doesn't sound like a lot, that number's going to more than triple in the next 25 years. Right now, there are only two options for heart valve replacements. Number one is a metal valve, and that requires you to be on dangerous blood thinning medications for the rest of your life, or a valve made of animal tissue that will inevitably fail and require multiple repeat surgeries into the future. Pick your poison. But things don't have to be that way. We're looking to engineer a new set of bioprosthetic heart valves. See, the problem with traditional animal-based valves is that they're filled with molecules which our bodies see as harmful. This results in an immune response that attacks the newly replaced valve and eventually destroys it inside the body. Our lab's looking for a way to tell the body, hey, these newly replaced valves aren't a threat. So how do we do that? Well, we start off by taking a sample of heart tissue from cows. We then establish our own protocol to clean out all the cells from the sample, leaving behind only a skeleton. We then take human stem cells and refill the skeleton, bringing it back to life. The only difference now is that this new tissue no longer contains any cow cells that can cause harmful immune reactions. And we actually have data in our lab to show that this tissue has little immune response, similar to a normal heart valve. In other words, we've bioengineered heart valve material that may no longer require dangerous blood thinning medications and no longer require multiple repeat surgeries into the future. This opens up the floodgates for more innovative studies, like using large animal models, creating other bioengineered organs. The possibilities are truly endless. A newly bioengineered heart valve is on the horizon, one that will decrease repeat operations and save the healthcare system an estimated several billion dollars or euros that can be reallocated to other healthcare infrastructure. Now, remember what I told you to imagine at the beginning. As you're all sitting down listening to me talk, this time, you no longer feel dizzy. You're not short of breath. Everything's in focus, and most importantly, you hear the entirety of my presentation. Thank you. <laughs> 